have to remember. I have to remember. Okay, so when the light goes red, I stop. When the light turns yellow, I get ready. And when the light turns green, I go. Hey, look, it's our friends. Welcome back to Gozo, guys. The virtual that allows you to learn about any animal, anytime, and anywhere in the world. I was just practicing my traffic light rules because later in the day, I have to go to town to get some supplies. Will you help me memorize the traffic light signs? You will? Wonderful. Okay, so when the light goes red, I stop. When the light goes yellow, I get ready. And when the light goes green, I go. Okay, thank you guys. But, you know, talking about this light has made me remember a very unique animal that we have in the zoo that has lots of colors. It's called the poison dart frog. And I think that's what we're going to learn today. So, gather your friends around and let's get ready to learn all about the poison dart frog. Poison dart frogs are the most brightly colored frogs in the world and they are members of the amphibian family Dentropedia. There are more than 175 known species. That means they have lots and lots of cousins, aunties and uncles. And they come in a wide range of colors from the golden poison frog to the black and green poison frog to the blue poison frog and there is also the bumblebee poison frog and lots more. Because they are so colorful, they are often referred to as the jewels of the rainforest. I'm sure you're wondering what a rainforest is. Well, a rainforest is a type of forest that has lots of plants and gets a lot of rain all year round. The rain is very important for the survival of the poison dart frogs. This is because they are amphibians and all amphibians breathe through their skin, so their skin needs to constantly be wet so it can absorb the oxygen. Did you know that poison dart frogs are really, really tiny? I mean, they are smaller than my pinky finger and I could hold one on the top of my finger. Imagine being that small. Oh wow, look, I'm small. Hi guys. <sighs> okay, if you remember, we talked about traffic lights when we started this lesson. And just like each light has a function, for example, red means stop, the color of the poison dart frog has a special function and what their brightly colored bodies tells bigger animals that want to eat them is hey don't eat me i'm poisonous and so once another animal sees their brightly colored frogs they scamper away the most poisonous of all of them is the golden poison frog they secrete a poisonous toxin which makes them one of the most poisonous animals in the whole wide world so if you're wondering why these frogs are named poison dart frogs, tell your friends to keep quiet and listen closely. When the native Indians used to go hunting many, many years ago, they would find these little guys and rub their arrowheads on their bodies to absorb the poison. And that's how they got the name poison dart frogs. The dart frogs are majorly omnivores, eating things like small insects and algae. These frogs go through a five-step growth process that starts when they are laid as eggs to when they hatch into tadpoles, then the tadpoles grow legs before they become young adults and finally full adults. Oh look, it's time for me to go to town. But first, before I go, it's catch-up time! <laughs> Let's go over what we've learned today. Poison dart frogs are the most brightly colored frogs in the world. Poison dart frogs are really, really tiny. Poison dart frogs are majorly omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Okay guys, till our next Gozu adventure. Bye for now.